is a wonderful, happy man shed here. We are in the middle of the Isle of Wight. It's, it's, it's a place called Billingham. Um, it's, it's, what, I don't know, six miles from the sea. And it's a rural location. And it's a, a friend's barn, which uh, we've, we've set up as a hobby. It's a hobby out of control we've got going on here. Well, it all started off with Swift, with, with doing up that little folk boat. And it sort of just bumbled on from there. And Swift was a, a great boat. She, she, she was, I owe a lot to that boat. It's, it did an awful lot of good for me and my family. And, and we, we sailed off down to Plymouth. But gosh, it was small. They're great boats, but they're very small. Every time I took my trousers off, I got cramped. It was, it was small, it couldn't hold much wine. So my, <laughs> my wife said, why don't you get a twister? We scoured a bit and we found this twister in, um, in the Baltic. And a friend and I sailed it back. We bought it just off the photographs. We went out there with one-way tickets and we found her in Lubeck. And she'd been used as a, as a holiday home she'd been used as a, a, a fairly serious sailing in the mediterranean and then the baltic so she'd been out in the, out of the country for 20 years and she'd been well loved um, but needed a i thought a bit of a, a makeover so we sailed it back an, an, an uneventful uh it took us 14 days we were storm bound in the hague for five days it's not a bad place to be storm bound um, and then we sailed it for two years before we knew really what was wrong with her, what we wanted to do to her. And then we brought her up here and it's been a two year refit. It was, it was going to be six months. This is the life raft and the, the, um, the, the condensed milk in there needs changing. It needs to do some service. Now we've got I can do most things with a tiller here. I've got winches, I've got my halyards, everything's back aft. I've got all my instruments, I've got a clock, I've got a very good sound system, fusion sound system. And then I've got the, I had the rudder off and I redid the bearings. Um, it's really, really quite smooth now. So we've got a, an Autohelm 2000 to steer. And then we've bought this sea feather, which is supposed to be very good for boats of this size. Uh, Self-steering. It's, it's a servo blade, so I've got all these lines coming back to here, and it should work. Um, outboard bracket, made a little flagpole thingy. Um, that's the husband tracker, AIS. I must tighten that up. Um, this solar panel is 144 watts, um, which should charge up the fridge and keep everything tickety-boo. I've got a mooring, so I'm not plugged into a marina or anything. Um, and then on, I thought the stern light, it's only a little boat, uh, so I thought I'd put the stern light up here. If I'm going down a big wave, somebody might see me, rather than putting it on the back of the transom. Twin backstays. Mm -hmm. And what I do love about this boat, I mean the boat is a bit like a West Country brick shithouse really, but it's got Panama Fairlies and these are bronze, all cast for the job. And the guy who built it really knew what he was doing. I've got these lovely Panama Fairlies. Well, on the folk boat we had wine down in the bilges, didn't we? I well, we, we could do that, but I think this is a bigger boat, so we've got to go for the, the different approach. So you've got Glenmorangie, you've got Mermaid made on the Isle of Wight with a bit of shooting port. Did, did you want a drink? I know it's 10 o'clock in the morning. It'll be early for me now. You've got to test it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit posh, isn't it? <laughs> it's unbelievable, really. So we've got all these lockers here. The wiring is all new, but the battery's interesting. I've gone for AGM, red flash, 
-hmm. And then this side, I've got AGM backed up by a lithium. And the lithium takes the peaks and the troughs of the drain and the charge and saves the saves the AGM batteries. The cooker, is, it's a, you can't buy them new, it's a methylated spirits cooker. Um, I don't like gas, you have to have it checked every so often. I've seen a boat blow up with gas and sink in the harbour I used to run and um, it takes up a locker space. And it's only a small boat so I've gone for meths. We've got uh, Sink, sink, hot and cold water, and of course the sink stupidly is below the water line, which means I've got to have a pump to pump the sink out. I didn't think of that. Lock. This is all, I did all this. Is all new. Um, and the lockers are new. The rest is painted. Um, so you haven't got a lot more to do then, really. <laughs> No, I'm going to water on Thursday. This is the electrical panel which my friend Cameron did. And, and I've always wanted something. I, you, the trouble with me is I go aboard other people's boats and think, oh, that's a good idea. I don't realise how small my boat is. But if you press all these switches, all these lights come on, <laughs> show you what's on and what's not. I don't know how useful it is, but it looks really good. So it certainly looks good. Oh, yes, follow them. And then this is the electrical bit, you see? It's all quite neat. Oh my god. I know! It's immaculate. What are yes! You I have to dust it every day. That's the husband tracker. <laughs> so she knows where you are. Well, I can't say, Di, I can't come home for dinner. I, I, I've gone a ground off Newtown. She said, No, not you bastard, you're in Yarmouth. I've got a fridge in here. And I think I can, it needs cleaning, okay, it needs cleaning. But I think I can get uh, 28 bottles of wine in there. Is that enough? Well, yeah, I have my type of reserve supply. Um, I've got the engine controls inside and no keys, because I'm going to lose keys. Is it, where are you? I've got a drawer here. Put all the kit on it. That's a shower. A shower. A shower? A shower. A shower. <laughs> shower. Anyway, it comes off the hot water system, so you can, when you have a swim, you can um, shower yourself off. Um, yeah. You've got some gadgets on this boat, haven't you? Unbelievable. It? So, I've got a great friend of mine who paints boats, and he's here doing his own boat up. I say this is a hobby out of control, but occasionally he brings me a coffee. Good man, Joe. Cheers. The restoration is is it wasn't it didn't require restoring the boat didn't need any new planks or lump, great lumps of timber putting in it um, it needed a refit it needed modernizing she was looking a bit sorry for herself because I hadn't done any varnish work for a, a year or two um, so we stripped it all down we didn't do the top sides the top sides were in very good condition um, we just rubbed everything down, we took a lot of the hull off the, uh, underwater, um, all the paintwork, took the rudder off. The engine was horrendous. The engine was a good old Volvo two-cylinder with a flywheel that you could use as an anchor. Very, very, very noisy um, and very heavy. The modern diesels are now half the weight almost. So um, that came out, uh, put a new engine in it, beta, 20 horsepower, three-cylinder. Um, and of course, the propeller is set to go one way for the Volvo, the Beta, the engine shaft goes the other way around. So it's have a new propeller. And we had one of those feathering ones. Um, and I'm looking forward to sailing with that, see if I can shave a few knots off. So, so new engine, as we got the engine out, then we thought we'd better take the fuel tank out. The fuel tank didn't have an inspection or any fuel gauge. So we took that out, cleaned it all out, put an inspection hatch in there, put a fuel gauge in there. So we had basically had then had a bare hull. because it took a lot of the accommodation out and rebuilt it. New engine, new engine beds. What have we got now? We've got in there new chart table, new galley, new lockers. A lot of painting went on and, and a complete rewire. There's over 200 metres of wire in this boat. I don't know where it went, but there was two reels on the side of the staging. It just kept getting lower and lower and lower on the reel as it went into the boat. We've watched the weight. We've got to be careful about weight because I do want to go fast. 
so we've been careful with what we put back in again although we have now got a, a little diesel heater with its own fuel tank so we carry 90 litres of diesel for the engine which is huge but that's what came with the boat and 20 litres of diesel for the diesel heater the new engine of course is all mod cons so it came with a hot water facility so we've got a calorifier I've got to say that right calorifier so we've got hot and cold running water pressurised system um, and of course the fuel the water tank isn't big enough now because when you as soon as you put a pump on it you get through water so quickly but we'll see the boat, for some reason, didn't have any lockers in the cockpit. I've no idea why. I can see the safety side of it, because if you get a wave over the side, they'll fill up. So I've cut some cockpit lockers in there, so we can get fenders and the sort of stuff you tend to put in cockpit lockers away. Put a few more lockers in, and just generally tidied the boat up. The deck, the decks were so thick, I thought, well, heavens, we're gonna, when, we, when we sand them down, we're gonna start going through to the plywood. No. They're really thick teak, so we gave them a good sand down. We refilled the, 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 the black, the PRC, which PRC or Sikaflex they call it now. So we've got nice clean decks, and I've done it with Semco, so it's, it's, it st should stay that nice teaky colour. We've got an anchor windlass, because I'm very old. I'm going to be running to the front of the boat to pull anchors up. So I can operate the anchor windlass from two foot thingies on the front of the boat, or I can have the tiller at my bum and I can just lean over and switch it from a rocker switch by the, by the helm. A great friend of mine has a plastic boat, which is unfortunately has a plastic boat, and he keeps saying to me, I've got everything on my boat. I can't think what else to put on it. I've got every gadget known to man. I've got this talks to this and that talks to that, and, and this beeps if I don't do this, and I can't think what else to put on my boat. I says, well, you haven't got a deck wash. I said, most proper boats have a deck wash. What's a deck wash? So when the anchor comes up, you can wash it off so it doesn't get new town mud on your decks, which doesn't come off. Oh, I think I need a deck wash. I says, so I had to go and get myself a deck wash. So I bought myself a deck wash for 100 quid. It's a little pump and I've plumbed it into the, the intake side of the loo, not the out <laughs> side of the loo, <laughs> intake. And so when that, my anchor comes up, I can stand on the foredeck and wash it off with a hose pipe. So we have a deck wash. Yeah. Uh, lads that help me sometimes do tend to take the piss because they think I've got a super yacht here. I haven't, but I've got a lot of gadgets on it. Sailing <laughs> in the Humber River is not something I've done for a long time. That was in an X-boat. This is a little bit bigger and a little bit slower. So I'm going to jibe round here, see if you better watch the uh, to get below, I think, or something. <laughs> oh, yes, go for it. So, so the, the, there's a standard twister table which lies flat against there right and it comes out but it, they didn't like that because you can you can't lean against it and this is a really nice place to sit and sit so we came up with this idea so this is unique to twisters is it this is unique to this boat because i couldn't work out how to do it so we've made this door right and then you take the hinge out the I'll do it from this side, maybe. Oh, you've got it. Well done. Don't drop it. I haven't got another one. There we are. I'm going to make a spare hinge pin thing. Right. Oh, oh my God, look at this. Oh, you are the wrong side of the table. Yeah, well, never mind. I've <laughs> got to learn that too. God, and that goes there. Can't see, I've got it now. Yeah, that goes up there. Goes there. And if anybody's saying that's not going to last two minutes, that's carbon fibre laminate inside that, so it gives it a fighting chance. Wow, look at that. The not problem bad. with this system is that 
we get the fine dining so we have the table mats and the glasses and all the stuff that goes with it and this rope is starting to stretch Ooh. so we're going to Okay. So I've got to remake that splice. <laughs> uh, well, it's a uh, work in progress, isn't it? Yeah, you can fit four people around here if you're very thin and, um, and up, up for it. Athletic. And one person wants to stay there up the end. Well, no, 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 This is, this is, <laughs> you, no. you're the wrong side of the stable door, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I can watch. <laughs> and you can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> the only trouble is with this table down, you can't go to the loo. No. You also wouldn't really want to. No, you wouldn't want to go to the loo next to the dining table. Oh, see? Oh, hang on down. There we are. Let me see how it goes back. Nick, if you... Oh, you've got to stay there. That's better. Okay. Have you painted this idea? No, I haven't painted it. I only painted it just the gloss. <laughs> Brilliant. Louise, you can come back. Good. <laughs> take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat, madam. It's really good, isn't it? They don't make this. Shut anymore. it off, do you not? No, they don't make them anymore. It's They're such great. a shame. And it's gimbaled as well, if you want to see that. Faffs around it, the It's a bit of a faff. Oh, there it is. Do that again. Perfect. It's actually not slightly. It's more better. Right? 